So this is my power tools that I bring in my van and I'll uh, show you those in a little bit more detail now. So starting off with hedge cutters, uh, we have the Steel HS56C which is a fairly new addition so haven't used it that much but really liking it so far. Really, uh, really nice hedge cutter. Then we've got our electric steel hedge cutter and that is the steel HS A56, so both 56. And again, that's, that's our sort of go-to one for small bits of topiary and just anything that just needs quickly doing where we don't want to use the shears. And that works quite nicely, we've had that for a year. Haven't any any problems with that one. And then we've got our trusty KM94. Again, everyone knows that. Really useful, really nice tool. And that's about two years old now. And we've got our steel combi hedge cutter attachment. And we put on the uh, short attachment for that. Uh, you can pick those up on eBay now, the short poles. Um, someone's selling them on there, so uh, if you want to uh, try that but you're not confident to uh, cannibalise one of the poles, I'd uh, check out eBay. Anyway, and then we've got our pole pruner for the combi. Again, got this at Christmas, really nice tool. Used that quite a few times, you might have seen it in some of my videos. And then we've got our Strimmer head as well. That's just a lightweight one as well. And then there's the normal bar for the uh, edge cut attachment. And then moving on to blowers. So this is our Husqvarna 525BX blower. And I've got a review of this on my channel. Really nice blower. And uh, there's that that comes with us every single day, um, every every job. And then we've got our Makita blower. So this is the EB5 5300TH. And this one, this one because of the size. And because of the jobs that we do, we don't bring this one every single day. Uh, we particularly bought it for the autumn, um, and uh, so it doesn't get taken with us every every day. But that's uh, that's our blower, really really powerful. I, I really recommend this one as well. Uh, again, I've got a review. I've got reviews of most of the products that you will see. Uh, certainly, the power tools in this video. So if you want to check those out by means just go on my channel and uh, you'll see the reviews there and then we've got our mower it's a Hater Harrier 41 this is our only proper mower that we actually have we bought this second hand uh, it's, again works really nice for us uh, we don't do too much mowing so uh, anything more professional or bigger or anything like that's just not a, not an issue for us so that does the job gives a really nice finish as well and as I say that's uh, very nice so we do actually have one other mower as you can see um, I'm not I think it was an old Kestrel mower and as for fuel cans that we bring we bring uh, this is our two-stroke one, so this is the steel fuel can with the non-drip fuel head on that. And then we've got the Birchmeyer, something like that. Um, again, this is a non-spill can. These bits fold out. And uh, that's our four-stroke. So they're the two ones that will come with us most, most days. That's our power tool setup for the van. 
And for any more information, by all means, check out my reviews of all of these tools. So this is our hand tool, a selection of our hand tools that we bring in the van. And uh, just to give you a better look at what we bring. So starting off with waste collection. We've got two little, they're about 60 litre, 40 litre uh, canvas collapsible uh, plastic bags. Um, we used to use trucks, but we were getting through them too quickly. So I'm sort of try this and um, see what they're, and they're a bit more collapsible, a bit smaller. Uh, and then in front we've got two kneeling pads. These are all pro. Really strong, they're uh, really thick, comfortable kneeling pads. I think they're designed for uh, plasterers, um, people who do floors, tilers, things like that. So they're designed for if you're on your hands and knees all day. And then moving on to our hand tools, so we've got a couple of yeoman's hand forks there. And there's a holly holly knife, improvised holly holly knife, and wolf scraper, patio scraper, the wolf patio brush scraper, and there's Spoon Jackson and a bread knife there for our cutting grass and stuff around slabs where it's can be quite useful to just cut out bits with those or if you're turfing to knit things together. And we've got our wolf, wolf soil rake and our wolf brush. Moving on to cutting tools or hand cutting tools. So we've got our Dalak uh, long reach lopper attachment. So that's just there. That's really quite powerful that. That will go through quite a bit quite easily and then we've got our Wilkinson sword saw there's a Dalek saw at the top there that also goes on the long reach pole but we've also got it on the handle there we've got our two Felcos uh, the Felco 2's and then the Felco 6's um, I think they are they're the small ones with the rotating handles um, and then there's our silky saw We've got a little stool there, which we use if we're doing like hedge cutting, you only need a little bit of extra height, or getting stuff from the roof rack on the van, or just having your lunch on. And then moving on to the bigger tools, so we've got our backhoe edges there. Probably the best ones you can get, They, but we use them quite a lot so they don't last whatever the however good they are they don't last that long and then there's our Dalak pole that's I think that's the three meter one that's what those other attachments click onto the top here just a little click system and these are all telescopic so that works really nicely and we've got our Dalak shears again they're telescopic so I use those for topiary and cutting down borders perennials, things like that, and that's where that I like to uh, telescopic stuff for the versatility that it offers you. Uh, and then we've got our Corona dual link loppers. We got tired of using uh, conventional loppers, and uh, these ones give you a hell of a lot of power. And they're very strong as well, all metal, a bit heavy, but uh, very strong. And then we've got our ARS long reach pruner. And uh, you might have seen that in some of our videos. Really like that tool. Really, really nice. And that's our new one. We've got another one as well that we sometimes bring if, if it's the apple pruning season. And we've got our collapsible rake or adjustable rake. And again, that's really useful. Uh, we used to bring a wolf one, but this one's lighter, smaller, and I prefer these, the, the spring heads on it. It does a better job. And then we've got our wolf poles. These are the aluminium ones um, with the Dutch hoe on the bottom. Now they're like that most of the time. 
found that head the most versatile out of all of them. Um, I do have a couple of other hoe heads. I think with Wolf, anyone, everyone sort of almost collects them because they're all quite useful for their specific tasks. But that's the most versatile, so that's the one we use. We did have the wooden poles as well, but uh, they was get a little bit flexy for my liking. These ones are a bit stiffer and um, a bit lighter as well. So then moving on to our digging implements. These are Fisker's exact range tools. So we've got the digging spade and the two digging forks. And these are in medium, they come in medium and large, depending on your body size, height. And they're really they're quite nice. Um, they're supposedly lighter and um, ergonomically designed to make things easier and less effort when you're digging and shoveling and stuff. Um, and they, they do work quite nicely. The only thing I don't like about them is this join here. It's attached by a screw and there's a wobble between that point and that point. And it was like that when we got them and it's the same on all of them. It just detracts from the... Um, just feels a bit cheap and I feel like that's going to be an issue later on in, in their life but other than that so we've got our trusty Wilkinson sword spade lovely sharp head on that one and it's quite a flat head as well so we use that for edging and uh, but we did have to put a new handle on because the other one broke but that's gone on quite nicely and then we've got our leaf grabber Spear and Jackson and uh, really like those and we have those most most of the time in the van even if it's not leaf collection time because they're so versatile and so useful for collecting up whatever you're using so um, whether you're making a mess hedge cutting or whatever so that's that's pretty much all the hand tools there are a few other little bits and bobs that we bring um, but that's the majority that we bring so there you go. So that's my 2018 tool loadout. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Got any questions, by all means leave them in the comment section below. And in the description, there'll be any reviews on these tools and affiliate links to some of these tools as well. So be sure to check those out. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.